Hey everybody, it's Nick with the Elite Reef, uh, and today we're going to talk about uh, upgraded lighting for the 29 gallon BioCube. Now if you saw my first video, you would know that I'm a little frustrated with the uh, the lighting that comes with the BioCube. Uh, obviously I have the stock BioCube, not the HQI, so I just had the regular, I think 36 watt uh, power compact lighting. It was pretty evident, even as uh, somebody who was kind of new to this reef hobby, that the lighting wasn't as good as I thought it should be. You know, I'd bring the corals home and they wouldn't look exactly like what they did in the fish store and, um, you know, they just weren't growing as well. So I did a little bit, bit of research and, and found out that there's obviously a lot better options out there, whether you go LED or, or uh, metal halide. Um, so I decided to go with this Kessel A150W Sky Blue. Um, I kind of like the, the, the less blue uh, hue to the light. Uh, there's two other versions on the Kessel, the A150W Ocean Blue and then the Deep Ocean Blue. So you can get a, a lot more bluer tint to it, but I've, I feel like I can't really see the corals. I know they pop definitely under uh, you know more blue light, but I wanted to see the whole reef. So I went with the A150W uh, Sky Blue. It's a 10K, equivalent to 10K uh, light. Um, and I have had no problem growing anything in my tank from stonies to LPS to softies, obviously. And you still get a great, great coloration um, of the corals. I'll, I'll put a picture up of, of what it looked like um, with you know before in the Power Compact and, and what I have now. Uh, I, d I did a little comparison with my, my Zoophrag. So um, definitely, definitely go with the upgrade if, if you plan on keeping corals. Now, what I really liked about the Kessel is obviously you can see that it has a gooseneck mount right there. Um, this is really convenient for bio cubes. It's it's a nice seamless um, look to it. There's a few other uh, you know LED companies that you know have little hang on the back attachments, but this really fit the bio cube, uh, in my opinion, the best. And it's really compact. As you can see, it's a really small head, but it has such a significant spread. I think it's you know 24 inch spread on there, so it covers my entire bio cube perfectly. Um, so I really like the obviously the the setup of it. And I picked this up for about 250 uh, light and gooseneck mount uh, included. You can get these uh, uh, <clears throat> pretty much anywhere online. Um, that's where I picked it up online. Um, in stores, I think they're like two 270, and then the gooseneck is is somewhere around 40 bucks. But this light's great because it'll last around eight to ten years. Um, and you know, with the power compacts, you got to change those bulbs every six months minimum. Uh, and same with the HQI the, or the metal halides, you got to change those lights and those bulbs pretty frequently as well. Another thing why I decided to go with the LED um, is because there's no heat output. Obviously, when you have your top off, I obviously went rimless with this because this light's obviously not going to work on the st uh, stock hood. Um, you go rimless, so you're going to evaporate a lot more water, and with that metal halide, light you're going to evaporate more it's going to be more heat output and you know the fluctuation between having it on at night or on at night on during the day and off at night your your temperature in your tank's going to vary because that metal halide is producing a lot of heat for your tank now with the LED there's virtually no heat output i mean you can put your hand under there and you're going to have no problem you're not going to feel anything so that's a, a big reason why i went with that uh third reason why i decided to go with LED is the, the cost of electricity. I'm not too really worried about my uh, electric bill, but um, it, it is pretty significant compared to other options out there. You know, when you're running these pumps, the heaters, uh, all this other stuff that you going on, you know, a lot of people want to keep their costs to a minimum. And like I said, that was a big plus for me. Um, you know, I, this whole tank was under $400 for, you know, except for the lighting. So I thought it was a really really great option in, in multiple different ways and it looks great as you can see the shimmer on my tank is is tremendous the color the growth some people are a little hesitant to LEDs and I'm not really sure why anymore I've seen a few posts here and there on forums where they're not sold on LEDs but you know um, I haven't seen one person who hasn't had success with them so you know in my opinion and with this biocube and this setup the Kessel A150W is a perfect option, whether you want to go with the sky blue like I have um, or the, the ocean blue or the deep ocean blue. I don't think you're going to go wrong with the Kessel. Again, they last 8 to 10 years. Uh, awesome spread, beautiful shimmer. It's really, really done wonders for my tank um, as far as coloration and growth, and, and I highly recommend it. 
So stay tuned for more videos, um, and I hope you guys enjoy and, and subscribe. Thanks again.